Bloody hell, are we still doing these? Yes, I'm doing it. Stop emailing me about it. I've got it now. Crikey O'Reilly. I tell you what, if I got half as many emails saying, here's £15 million, as I do saying, oh, why haven't you done Loot Crate yet? I would be so rich you wouldn't believe. Anyway, this theme is villains again. <laughs> Yes, Villains 2, Electric Boogaloo. Well, um, I suppose it's a nice broad theme they can get lots of stuff in with, and Villains is there crossing over to your superhero stuff, so your DC Comics, and you've got Marvel, so, you know, that's all stuff people like and more to the point people recognise. As much as I would like to open one of these up one day and find a serverland tea towel in it, I really don't think the Blake 7 community is quite big enough to uh, support an item for a... Uh, subscription service as big as Loot Crate. I really wish I had a Serverland tea towel now. Ah, uh, such is life. Anyway, I reckon there's going to be at least one Marvel Comics thing, and I think there's a Breaking Bad thing I saw somewhere. And um, the general buzz about this one seems to be quite positive. But then again, the general buzz has been hideously wrong before, and I had to point out its stupidity using words and pointing. So, let's see what's inside. Oh, the top's coming off quite quickly. Hmm, it's quite a big box this month, but oh my god, there's like a massive box in it with Marvel written on. And it says, oh, it also says what it is in it. Okay, we'll have a look at that in a second. And it's looking like there's a Joker thing. So there we are, we've got Marvel Comics and something to do with the Joker. That's pretty predictable for a villain's thing. But first, I'm going to take out the t-shirt. Warning, to avoid danger of that, not a t-shirt. Oh my god, we're in uncharted territory, unless it's a swimming bag, which it probably is. Um, it's bright yellow. The deal is there. It is mm, full of something. Good. There we are. A bit of tracing paper. Wow, now I can plagiarise all those pictures. Hooray! Who remembers going to an old British school and the toilet paper was like tracing paper? Hey, who remembers Spangles? Not me, actually. I'm slightly too young for that. But here we go. Um, put this silica gel away later and not eat it. Safety first. Oh my god, Los Poyos Hermanos, the uh, Chicken Brothers, which is the front for a horrible, evil drug ring in Breaking Bad. And there, that's spoiled if you haven't seen it. That'll teach you for being behind. Um, and there they are in all their chickeny glory. Hey, I've got an idea. What's that? Why don't we kill all our family and sell their corpses to people for food? I like your style. Yes, Gus Fring Ahoy. It's, it's an apron. I've been talking about it so long, I wasn't kind of looking at what it was. It's an apron, it's not a bad apron either, it's quite thick material. Uh, it's quite an interesting thing. I'm going to give my dad this, for he's a big fan of Breaking Bad. In fact, he only watched it uh, relatively recently, and he's actually grown a goatee in honour of um, <laughs> the mighty Walter White. Deary me. I hope he hasn't started uh, making crystal meth, because that will be a bit of a worry. Um, yeah, that's interesting. An apron, what a strange one. What's left field? I approve. Um, it's something a bit different. It's not something fucking novelty and stupid, like a bloody pair of worthless shoelaces or something. Is that, well, I suppose it is novelty. I suppose it is a bit stupid, but it's not cheap as shit filler, so I'll let them off. I quite like that, but the only problem is um, they can't really do another apron now for quite a long time. I would say they've now got a two-year moratorium on aprons, because nobody needs two aprons. Anyway, that'll enliven your barbecues. I like that. It's also got decent pockets on it to put your drugs in. I mean your barbecue sauce drugs. Drugs! Oh dear. Breaking bad, eh? Right, what's next? Oh god, there's, there's only like two more things in the box. A bit strange. Um, we have a cardboard box with an angry Batman and a crap-looking Superman on it. Oh, these look a bit shite already. Come on, let's turn it around. Oh my god, it's the Joker! Painted wooden figure. Well, that, again, is a bit different. Hee hee, says one mouth. Ha ha, says another. And you've got slightly different eyebrows. It's that kind of day. Right, well, um, let's fire this one up and uh, use this pencil to pierce the mighty clean film stuff. Hmm. That's an odd thing. I don't like the design in the back. I think this works better for a villainous character than a heroic one, because it looks sort of, you know, bulky and threatening and, you know, makes Batman and Superman... Look, well, it makes Batman look evil and Superman look just stupid. Oh, can't we get the farm yet, George? Can I pet the bunny rabbits? Anyway, enough of Mice and Men references which half the audience I'm going to get. Let's uh, see... Oh, my goodness. Yep. It's definitely wooden. Uh, it's quite nicely painted, and yeah, you just slot in <laughs> your whichever joker head you prefer. Ha ha or hee hee. They both look quite evil, but in different ways. Arms are uh, movable. Do you get anything to put in the holes in the hands? No, you don't. 
and the arms come off really easily, so you probably won't be moving them around much. Um, hmm. Ooh, is this one a bit daffy, actually? Oh, no, it's all right. It's gone in. I was just a bit rough with it. Hmm. Well, it's, it's a nice thing. It's a solid block of wood. Oh, legs move as well, which is kind of pointless. Um, so you know, I like that a thousand times more than I like these bloody repeated plastic pissing figures with the goddamn giant super deformed heads, of which I'm absolutely convinced there is another Marvel one here, of Venom, in fact, because it says, oh, no, no, it's not that, because actually it says exactly what it is on the box. Oh, that's interesting. Anyway, we'll come to that in a second. I have now lost my train of thoughts. Yeah, well, that's quite nice, actually. I don't mind that. Um, as I say, it works better with villains due to the hulking nature of it. Gotta say, I think it would work better for a character that was quite a hulking brute, something like, uh, you know, Solomon Grundy, if you're going for Batman villains, as opposed to the Joker, who's generally quite a svelte figure. Svelte and mental. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. Not gonna complain. I might actually put that on a shelf somewhere. Or give it to somebody who likes the Joker more than me. Which is nobody, I know, I don't think. Oh well, I'm keeping that one, boys. Right, I'm doing this one next because it's massive. It takes up nearly the whole box and I've already read what it is. I thought, when I saw the Marvel thing, I didn't saw the word Venom there, it was gonna be a, um, you know, big head figure thing. But no, it is a moulded mug. My goodness. Um, let's spend the rest of our lives picking this off. That's always fun. And, yeah, mm, it's going to be a bloody great mug, isn't it? Moulded, hopefully, in the shape of Venom, or Venom's head, I suppose. Like a Toby jug for a freakish character. God, I hate Toby jugs. I'm glad it isn't actually a... T if you don't know what a Toby jug is, because you're lucky enough to not have them in your country, it's like a figure or mug of a character's face, usually with small deformed arms as well. And it's just of, like, an old... His I was going to say historical, not even historical figures generally, just an old-fashioned person. And they're really quite ugly, and old people will occasionally have few on a shelf. And they're awful, and if you go in a pub and they have them lined up, leave the pub immediately. Oh my god, there's a lot of polystyrene guff on this, but yeah, that's Venom, all right. My goodness. Um, wow. That's a very solid and decently glazed piece of porcelain, to say the least. Um, well, it's a pretty good quality mug. Unfortunately, I fucking hate these mugs that aren't, like, um properly round inside and have all these loose edges next. You can never clean them out properly. Ah, so I wouldn't actually use it for drinking from. That is a shame. Oh, there's also a bit of uh, annoying black glaze under there. That's the Joy of Porcelain. That's an excellent thing in its way. Although saying that, oh dear. Look at this. Got all bloody scratches on the side. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I really like this. Oh, I've been let down slightly by the... Uh, well, I wouldn't say it's the quality, more the sort of the way it was packed, I suppose. That's extremely distressing on many levels. Uh, I could have used an... Oh my god, I've just realised I bought a load of uh, permanent markers the other day. This would be perfect for keeping them in. Ah, oh, look at that. Well, I shall use it for that purpose and remain permanently disappointed about the uh, striping on the side. But hey, it's a quality thing and it's very heavy and uh, yeah, it took up the whole frickin' box actually. Oh god. Oh look, here's the badge. Moving swiftly on, there is one more thing in the box, unless there is... Well, actually, I'll check at the bottom. Oh, no, it's just the mighty book. Oh, I like the front. Hasn't actually got... Is that a Loot Crate logo? Yeah, some sort of 8-bit LC. Don't know. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Right, and what is the last thing remaining in the box? Blimey. They're all sort of high-ticket items, apart from possibly Marvel Comics Captain America The First Avenger. By weird coincidence, I uh, showed my girlfriend that the other night who hadn't seen it. Hmm. This looks like a Hydra thing. They were a bit evil. Hail Hydra and all that. And they came back for the sequel. I really like the Captain America film, uh, mainly because I was going in thinking I wasn't going to like it much, because Captain America is not the most interesting of characters in general, is he? He's really patriotic and he has a shield. Yeah, probably not going to green light that one, mate. But, um, yeah, it turned out to be quite a fun film. Quite enjoyed that. And the sequel, The Winter Soldier, is very, very good. It has a sort of 70s uh, political thriller vibe. Even, hell, it even has Robert Redford in it, who is in all the 70s political thrillers. On the downside, it's called The Winter Soldier. The actual Winter Soldier character in that story arc is utterly extraneous. You could just cut it out and make no frickin' difference at all. So don't just put him in there to make an extra character. But anyway, enough film critique. We must open this EFX collectibles thing using this slightly too large pair of scissors. I've got a proper knife handy, that's annoying. Oh, no, it's all right. Versprung Dirk Technic, we have the technology. Oh my God, uh, sort of a big lapel, oh, I love lapel badges and stuff. 
This certifies that the accompanying collection, we don't give a shit, it's a little bit of metal, it's never going to be worth anything, and by putting all that guff on there, you're not fooling us. But, oh yes, properly, oh man. I always, I've, you know, I've forgotten this recently, but when I go to comic conventions, I always try to have a sort of nifty badge on my lapel. Um, I've had the, the Sai Core one from Babylon 5, Batman logo once, and I've forgotten about it recently, and this will be a nice new addition. That is really good. Um, I really like that. It looks, well, you know, like the sort of thing they would have in the film if they were Hydra men and they had it on their uniforms. And I cannot complain. Yeah, that's my favourite thing, actually, but that's because I really like things like that. As it actually runs, it's the, probably the cheapest item in there, and while it's very nicely made, it's only a little bit of metal in it. So what did we get? Not much, but it was all really high-ticket stuff, which I approve of. I would much rather have four or five good, solid, decent items than six or seven items, and actually only three or four of them are any good, and the rest are all filler shite, like fucking inflatable fucking crowns, etc, etc. So, anyway, I can wear this apron whilst putting my um, permanent markers in a mug, whilst the Joker looks on holding his own head. No, it doesn't fit in there. And my Hydra badge is stuck in my forehead, or something or other. What does the box do? Oh, I'm not going to bother making this one. It is just a nice little diorama thing. Look, there's the Joker, and he's banging together a big version of himself. <laughs> so you see, it looks a bit like the wooden one, but actually isn't. And there's Harley Quinn, who's just painted the wall up, and you probably can't see her at home. She looks, um, I don't think you'll recognise that version of it. Joke bot! You see, it's like a robot, like the... You sit over there and bleed to death. Marvellous! Well, that was a very good one. Um, I think that's... I... I would say money-wise, is that worth the most? Well, see, I'm not going to say I think it's the best one or anything, um, but it was a very solid box. There was a lot of interesting items, and they were all of good quality, except the frickin' badge, but, you know, we ignore that in the book. So, there we go. Blurg. You know, it's actually nice to look forward to these things bloody arriving again after the uh, somewhat fallow patch we went through, where I was basically dreading them and taking half of it to the charity shop. Anyway, crute late. <laughs> Hooray! Now my marker pens will take up considerably more room than they probably should.